morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the morning, 15 minutes to change your life. Could you say Chalzo? So, yeah, continuing on that discussion and that differences doesn't have to make us, doesn't have to cause conflict and we can come together. Yeah, and so we talked about like the difference between, what when I said the difference between the Bavli and Yerushalmi, that even though the Bavli, the, the Gemara coming from Bavel is full of discussion and full of, uh, so to speak, arguments back and forth. Nevertheless, that's the one that we use to, to make halachic decisions, which is showing us very clearly, and this is sort of like the main theme of the Maimu, that you don't need, that differences don't need to cause issues. If it's coming in a, in a, in a, from a battle, take a place. I'm talking about before, the difference between Toyo, and also we talked about how Toyo and, and Hawaii, and yeah, which is which the virus coming from Bittel, and that's all we need. Yeah, so we're in the middle of page 54. The Razal, like a rabbi say, in Saptatinus, Loilam he Adam Rach, Kikane, Val Yehe Kasha Kairis. Very interesting. So it says in the Gemara over there, it says the person should always be soft like a reed. And it shouldn't be hard like a cedar. So a cedar tree is a very thick, strong, very powerful tree. Whereas a kind of a reed is a very soft, very uh, pliable, can move around. It's like a, I have, there's a guy that I, I know. He told me, it was very, very uh, pure, simple Jew. And he said, he said, this, he goes, I don't, I don't know so much. I haven't learned so much. He goes, but this is a vart that he like always, this is like his vart. And he said, it says by the, by Mitraim, by all the Makas. So at one point, it's the, so you have the, the hail, the fire storm, it comes down and destroys all everything. And then it says, the locust, after that comes the locust. So he says, he says, everything got eaten, everything got destroyed. Um, um, yeah. So he said, he asked a question like this. He goes, if the hail broke, it says it broke all the all the plants and stuff. So if it already held, held broke everything, so what else is that? What else is there? Why does it have another maca that, that destroys the water that was left? What was left? So he said, what was left was was the the, the soft the soft plants. Why? Because when the hail hits it, they just bend. They bend and they come back up. So he said, this is an important lesson in life. You have to be bendable. You can't be so stiff. And that's what we're saying here. I don't know. I don't think he knew, but it comes. It comes from the Gemara. Loyel mihei adam rach kekane, mihei kasha keeres, and it's a beautiful vart in life. You know, you don't have to get so you know, get stuck on things. You have to be. You have to be pliable. It's not a big deal. You know. You know. There's. There's. You know. It, it happens to me, like in in marriage, we have like discussions about things, and things start to bother me. Like like something that I want in a certain way, and and it bothers me. That it bothers me. That I, like I don't want to care about this. Like uh, my kids, oh, they're wearing something, or, you know, it doesn't look good. Or it's like too big on him. So I was like, oh, we'll get something else. I'm like, no, I don't want to get something else. Like, I don't want this to annoy me. I, like, I don't want to care about it. There's more important things in my life that, that I should have an opinion on that should be important to me, like a cedar, you know, in terms of train mitzvahs. And those are the ones that, that should be important to me. So we should learn to be like these reeds, soft. Or the dava kasha, and something had, mitzad ha avius. By Yeshua Shabbat, because it's costs and it's Yeshua's ain boy in a tia, the shum tad. So it can't move like a, like a, st- like a, a strong tree. And also, you think about it like, say, like glass is very brittle. The trees, they don't bend. It's like there's metal and, and wood, wood doesn't bend, wood just breaks. So, too, when your person is very st- strong and, and, and stuck, besides the fact that they're very hard to move and, the, and their opinions are very, you know, they're very stuck with their opinions. Even if you even if you try to get bent, it just it don't bend. It breaks. It breaks themselves. It doesn't work. It, it's like it's, it's not good. They can't turn to go to any sides. Aval dava harach something that is soft. Mitad harakus shaboy beatim because they're essentially pliable. Yachal in teres lachol tadchul. They can go and move any side. Which in person is pliable. He can he can can handle people. You know some guys. Let me find them him. Okay. That's your opinion. Thank you very much. You know, and someone says, someone says, you know, you have a discussion, you know, get fired up and, you know, and 
and they get like all like shh, intense. You're just like, hey, is that you think? Hey, very interesting. Let me let me understand where you're coming from. And and they're very like soft and easy, easy go lucky. Yeah, So in the in the level of Mechim, talking about the Mechim and the mind and the Chachma and the Bina. Because it comes from a level of bitul, when, you th- when you're coming and your thoughts are coming in the way of bitul, so they can divide, take everything and analyze it. All the revelation of the idea, they can divide into little portions, which is, which is understanding on all sides, meaning, meaning, you know, so to speak, like true science is not. It's not this is my opinion, and you all have to agree to my opinion. True science is, is, not, is not definite. Real science never talks about this. That's how I know <laughs> that real science is not about definite, it's about theories. Uh, this is what it seems to me. And, and, and based off this information, this is what it seems like it could be. But, but if someone brings some different information, so I can see it a different way, and I'm not stuck in a certain way, it's, it's, I'm trying to find the truth. And this is what we're talking about. And you have seichu in that way, so then you, then you can apply. You can move yourself side to side. But if it's and this is my truth, and this is it has to be this way. Then I don't want to hear anything. And then someone argues, someone brings something. So you say, no, it can't be that because because mine is true and yours is wrong. And even if the idea is opposite, you can still come and still listen and still pay attention and still try to bring out, learn from it. Yeah, like it says in this in this note of here, one is impartially views all the different aspects of a concept. He's not locked into any given approach. On the contrary, his objectivity enables him to see the different perspectives, even those that are opposite, and to form a balanced view that encompasses all of them without any personal favoritism. You know, and, and, and so you come then you can you can understand things. And this is sort of you can sort of think about it in terms like the Rebbe, like on a, on a humanistic level, of course the Rebbe is the Rebbe, but on like a humanistic level, the Rebbe learned, the Rebbe took from everything. And someone said, I was telling me that. That the rebel was would read some random things, and there was a guy who would write things. I think it was very like anti-religious or something very like rough. And the rebel said, and the, and the rebel was, and so the guy came to Yechidus, and the rebel said, you know, I wanted to read your stuff, but it was because he's very like have me to read. So the guy said to the rebel, "Why do you read my stuff? It's like so against you and your your <laughs> your ways of life. You shouldn't read it. You should read things that are more connected to your style." So I said, if I only read things that I like that that uh, resonated with me and, and I I liked, I didn't disagree on. I wouldn't read many things. But the Rebbe read a lot. The Rebbe was very up to date with a lot of things, because the Rebbe was was, was like this. The Rebbe had Bittel, the Rebbe was seeing it, and the Rebbe wasn't seeing it, reading it. it was like, oh, let me argue with it, but let me understand what perspective of people coming from, and I can understand. I can have a broader mind. You know, the more open we can be, of course, in a, in a healthy way, the more we can understand things. And then you can bring everything together, like the rabbi, you can take different opinions, and you can understand the mile in each one, and you can you can add value to everything, and you can bring it all together beautifully. This is the true unity. When many details come and unite together, and they help each other. To the extent you can't even find the, the head in the end, the beginning in the end. It's, it's all come together. It's all like this is the opinion and everything else follows around and we fit them in. But we all have something that we're giving. Yeah. Sharei, hey, Messiah, they help each other. Page 56. Because they all receiving from each other. Yeah. That you need all of them. That the first one needs the second one. And they all need each other. This is the true unity. Meaning, there's no, no, no opposites. Meaning, there's different, it's a very important understanding that, that unity doesn't mean we all hold the same opinion. We all follow, I'm right, and, we, and, and I show you how I'm right, and we all have to follow my way. True unity is we all see how everyone is important. Now everyone is needed. No one has to give. It's like the, the, the lul of an esrig. The mitzvah should take the dalad minim that we need specifically these dalad minim. You need the person that is the Talmud Chachim. You need the person that does mitzvah. You need the person that doesn't do any of these things. Ain't like tam, ain't But you need all of them. They all come together. True unity is not that we all are like me. 
and you exactly this way. True unity is when, when we bring all those differences together and to make this, this beautiful, colorful, so this big rainbow of, of opinions, they all can come together and all add to each other. It's not in my opinion, it's not that, the, and, and we find that what common commonality that comes together, they can add to each other. It's like, it's like, you know, Chassidus says that everyone has a, a tafkid in the world. Everyone has something to give in the world. And everyone's tafkid is different. It's not that we all have the exact same tafkid. Not everyone has to be a shliach that goes out to uh, the furthest country in the world, uh, except from America, from New York, and uh, be a shliach, because there's only one person or two people that can be there. Everyone has their, their makam shliach, their makam things to do, and their, what they have to give. For some person, it's being on, on TV, and some person being on the radio, and some person, it's being on the streets. Everyone has their thing. And, and, and the unity is when we come together, we all bring what we have to give together. And, and, and a person sees, it. no, you're not doing it the way I'm doing it. That's not, that's not the unity. The unity is, is, is why wow, you're doing it so differently than me. But that, that's, that we can come together. That's also the rabbi. You see, when the rabbi pushed people, it was never the same thing for every person. Every person had their thing. And this person has to do it in his way, and this person has to do it in his way. And, but all those come together in, in the bigger picture. And this is true unity. This is the true unity. She ain't kind of often called. There's no opposites. And therefore, the, this unity is much greater. It's much more. In comparison to as it is in its source. In its source, everything is sort of one. We have, that has the potential for differences, but we're saying at that point, there's not, nothing there. So it's like we're all exactly the same. We're all doing the same thing. It's like when you're in Shiva or seminary, you're all in the same place doing the same thing, and there's no real differences. The differences are when you come out. But the purpose of the seminary experience and the, and the learning is meant to, meant to help you that when you go out in your direction, in your things, expressing yourself, you have that, that aspect that you can come all together. But you, but you have it expressed in your, different, in your way. And the, you, because the unity at that point, when, you're, when, you're all, when it's all together and in SARS, it's the unity because you can't see the differences. We're all the same. We, we all come together and we all have the, why, but we're all doing the same thing. That's why. So it's all one. It's all one. Just like in, in the source, it's all one thing. You don't see the differences. Because once the differences will come out, then it's hard to see that unity. But there's no, they're not really connected in any point at that point. They're just in the same place at the same time. And in truth, they're really opposite to each other. And if you reveal it, then it would be, they'd be opposite. They'd be opposite to each other. I explained in the previous chapter, their initial expression, the different powers are distinct. Each one manifesting its own individual nature. The possibility for in, the interrelation among the powers stems from the manner in which mind controls the expression. In which the mind controls the expression. Oh, we've got to stop here. It's so quick. <laughs> Just getting into it. But the point is, we're saying here that, that in its source, these things aren't really expressing true unity. They're united because of the situations they're, they're in. But, but, but in essence, they're all really separate. And it's only when, when they can express the separateness and bring that separateness together and, and show the, the syn synthesis with it, and bring them all together, that's when it all works out. And we're going to discuss it in more in the next few days. In, in the next parak, how, like, and he brings it down to like in community settings and stuff like that. And so, that, and, and really, again, the lesson is to have to rec recognize that everyone has their specialness, their uniqueness. We don't all have to be the same. We, 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 we it's, it's the opposite. We should be different. Different doesn't, doesn't have to be a problem. Just because a person sees something a little differently, it's not a problem. We shouldn't have to judge them because of the differences. We should be able to see the, the commonality or what brings us together within those differences and that how we need every person, that person with their skills how that helps the whole to be continued tomorrow.